When these emergency responders play in the sand, it's serious business. Sand table use in, in wildland fires, we've used that forever. Just to simulate fire, and typically what we've done, we've uh, just used a, a sandbox with little toy figures. Now, sand simulators have gone high tech with a computer projection system called the Sim Table. I was watching a local TV uh, news channel and they brought this Sim Table modeling up. And they showed how it works and how the guys make it you know, start a fire and, and move out. And I thought, wow, that's great technology. We could use that. And come to find out, the guy told me, well, this is part of a spin-off technology from Los Alamos National Laboratory. The system includes variables like roads and buildings, gas and power lines, thickness of the forest, wind strength and direction, even the angle of the sunlight, and then... We can start a fire and we can simulate uh, the response to a fire, how we would mitigate it. Uh, we've got many different options of uh, whether we cut hand line in there, dozer line, we, we can simulate water drops, um, just a lot of different options that we can uh, use as a training aid to uh, show how we would control a wildland fire. One way to control fire danger is by reducing its fuel cutting underbrush in forest too thick with trees. Laboratory crews use end tools, chainsaws, and this, a monster mulcher. It looks like, oh, okay, you're making trees less dense and you're thinning them out and you're creating a mulch. And that mulch will eventually uh, decay down and go back into the earth. So there's your 3D image. Future use of the sim table might even help training for accident scenarios or releases of hazardous chemicals or radioactive materials. What we're working on now is actually having the model available either on a laptop or a portable uh, platform that the responding incident commanders and firefighters out in the field can have that model and use it to, to determine their response and to plan their mitigation actions while they're out in the field. I'm Kevin Rourke for LANL TV.